sum of the series this series is given to us and we have to find sum of this series to find sum of the series first we need sn sequence of partial sum and its limit is known as sum of the series so this is series and this series can be written as 1 upon n n square minus 1 and running from 2 to infinity this is nth x nth term of the series en can be written as 1 upon n n square minus 1 this is the nth term of the series where n greater than or equal to 2 to find sum of the series we need to partial fraction of this nth term that's why we can apply easily limit concept because if we get 1 upon some terms of n some terms of n plus or minus 1 upon or some number c times terms containing n here so we can easily apply limit limit n tends to infinity and we get the sum of the series so our first target is resolve this nth term into partial sum or partial fraction so it can be written as n n plus 1 n minus 1 or you can do a upon n plus b upon n plus 1 and c upon n minus 1 to find the value of a b c and you can write this one so it is easy to write because there is no complicated terms in this so it will be 1 upon n minus 1 minus 1 upon n plus 1 here n plus 1 minus n plus 1 n cancel out by n so you got 2 take 2 in denominator to equalize the this fraction this is 1 upon 2n and 1 upon n minus 1 minus 1 upon n plus 1 it can be written as 1 upon 2 inside 1 upon n n minus 1 minus 1 upon n n plus 1 now we get a n equal to 1 upon 2 and this is 1 upon n n minus 1 minus of n n plus 1 now try to write this term as a partial fraction it can be written as 1 upon 2 1 upon n minus 1 minus 1 upon n so n minus n minus plus 1 it is perfect here minus 1 upon n minus 1 upon n plus 1 here you got n plus 1 minus n and minus n cancel out so it is also perfect there is no need to take a constant in denominator now this is your a n and a n can be written as 1 upon 2 this is 1 upon n minus 1 minus 2 times n plus 1 upon n plus 1 these two terms make this one now what is first term or a2 a2 will be 1 upon 2 1 upon 2 minus 1 1 minus 1 2 upon 2 minus 1 upon 3 a3 will be 1 upon 2 1 upon 2 minus 2 upon 3 minus 1 upon 4 and a4 will be 1 upon 2 1 upon 3 minus 2 upon 4 
प्लस वन अपॉन फाइव नाउ इन डिनोमिनेटर थ्री फोर फाइव नेक्स्ट सिक्स फोर फाइव सिक्स इट विल बी ए फाइव विल बी वन अपॉन टू वन अपॉन फोर माइनस टू अपॉन फाइव प्लस वन अपॉन सिक्स ए सिक्स विल बी वन अपॉन टू वन अपॉन फाइव माइनस टू अपॉन सिक्स प्लस वन अपॉन सेवन एंड ए सेवन विल बी वन अपॉन टू वन अपॉन सिक्स माइनस टू अपॉन सेवन प्लस वन अपॉन एट now this is 1 by 1 and it is also cancel out this is 1 upon 3 and 1 upon 3 so these two circle portion making 2 upon 3 it cancel out by this one it means diagonal entry cancel out this one same similar here this diagonal entry is cancel out means three consecutive terms will cancel out diagonal terms so left term will be left term what is left term left term is this one and 1 upon 2 and in the last you will get this format means 2 upon n plus 1 upon n plus 1 in the last only this term left so an so sum of all a1 plus a2 or a2 a3 a4 plus a5 and so on is this one now this is partial sum so it can be written as this is partial sum sn and limit of this one now sn will be a2 a3 a4 and so on up to an n greater than equal to 2 and this is obtained by 1 upon 2 minus 2 upon n plus 1 upon n plus 1 you can check here you got this format as this green portion is giving the sum of consecutive terms so apply limit limit sn equal to 1 upon 2 1 upon 2 minus 0 plus 0 it it will equal to 1 upon 4 which one equal to 0.25 So sum of this series is zero point 